Jacksonville, Florida, May 3, 1901. Jacksonville's largest disaster began around noon when sets of mattresses filled with Spanish moss caught on fire by sparks from a kitchen fire during the lunch hour at a Cleveland mattress factory, which was located in an area now known as Lavella. The fire was soon discovered, and it was thought that they could put it out with only a few buckets of water. Consequently, alarm was not turned in until it had gone beyond their control. By the time the Jacksonville Fire Department arrived, the fire had spread from the outside platform upon which it started to the pine buildings, which rapidly became a smoldering mass. Then the breeze sprung up. With fire embers and millions of sparks were dropped on the roofs of nearby homes blocks away. As the fire at the mattress factory seemed under control, calls of other fires in the vicinity began to come in. Winds had spread embers throughout a several block area. These winds fanned embers, igniting a massive fire that engulfed a major portion of the city. By 8.30 p.m. that evening, the winds had died down and the flames quelled. Several people had lost their lives in the largest, most destructive fire in the history of the southeastern United States. 2,368 buildings were burned, 140 blocks were destroyed, and 10,000 people were left homeless. The National Guard was on the streets of Jacksonville by sundown. Florida's Governor William S. Jennings declared a state of martial law in Jacksonville and dispatched several state militia units to help. Reconstruction started immediately, and the city was returned to civil authority on May 17, 1901. This became known as the Great Fire of 1901. Down the road of life we'll fly on the moon. 